This morning, governments and businesses are considering a way for people to prove they've been vaccinated against COVID-19. They're called vaccine passports, and it could determine who can travel, stay at a hotel, or even visit a bar. Now, Israel's already using them, and the European Union just proposed them. The U.S., we're still thinking about it. Roxana Sabiri is in London with more on the story. Good morning to you, Roxana. Here's a question. What are the pros and the cons of this idea? Good morning, Gail. Well, supporters say it could help lift lockdowns in cities like London. You get a shot, you get a digital pass on your phone, and then you can enter restaurants and pubs. But critics warn of the potential pitfalls over privacy and more. <laughs> Israelis must now scan in to get in to gyms, okay. hotels, even concerts like this. It is uh, all set in the telephone. It's very convenient. For more than three million Israelis and counting, this is the ticket back to some kind of normalcy. Finally, all the way in the car, I sank back to life, back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> the government-issued Green Pass shows personal details and proves they've had two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> now countries across Europe and beyond are considering similar so-called vaccine passports or immunity certificates to inject life back into a flagging tourism industry and revive businesses and hospitality, like pubs. The UK is studying whether to introduce vaccine certificates, raising the possibility that Brits could soon need a passport for a pint. Yep, all good. We haven't had stuff like this before. We've never thought in terms of having something that you have to show to go to uh, a, you know, a pub or a theatre. Uh, and, and, and so there are deep and complex issues that we need to explore. Issues like potential discrimination against people who don't want a shot, along with those who can't get one for medical reasons or because there's not enough supply. So these people won't be able to participate in life, in public life, in social life, in economic life, in the same way as their counterparts who have been vaccinated. And that's Claire Wenham from the London School of Economics says data privacy is another concern. Is it going to be something that's, that's digital and tracks you? And that obviously opens a whole different range of conversations about, uh, you know, security of your data, for example. So government shouldn't rush it. Government shouldn't rush it. I think it's a Pandora's box, and I think it's a, a slippery slope into, you know, having life being governed by your health status. But as governments debate immunity certificates, businesses are pushing ahead. Some cruises and airlines, for instance, say they'll.